staggering 49% of young Brits admit they'd purchase clothing just because their favorite celebrity endorses or designs it. With Kylie Jenner's latest brand launch, it feels like every celebrity is trying their hand at the fashion game, turning an already saturated industry into a nightmarish web of trend-chasing, low-quality items. These lines, usually filled with modish but poorly made clothing, push a relentless cycle of trendy but disposable pieces rather than versatile, timeless staples. The harmful consequences ripple out far and wide. Water pollution in Ghana, caused by discarded fast fashion waste, illustrates the environmental toll. Garment workers in Leicester, England, are paid as little as 3.50 pound an hour. Despite mounting criticism, celebrities like Naomi Campbell and Kourtney Kardashian continue endorsing these brands, leaving us to wonder, how long will this nightmare continue, and will the industry wake up in time? Fast fashion isn't a new concept to anyone, but its global proliferation has reached unprecedented levels over the past decade, particularly fueled by collaborations with high-profile celebrities. The strategy is simple. Leverage the immense popularity of celebrities to create an air of authenticity and relatability luring their followers into purchasing budget-friendly versions of their favorite star's looks. Cardi B's 2018 collaboration with Fashion Nova was a game-changer, raking in nearly $1 million in the first 24 hours and cementing celebrity partnerships as a powerful marketing tool. Nasty Gal teamed up with Cara Delevingne in 2019, and Boohoo collaborated with Megan Fox in 2021, each attracting millions of fans, hoping to emulate their style. Fast fashion brands like Shein, Pretty Little Thing, and Fashion Nova positioned themselves as champions of inclusivity and affordability, claiming their low prices allow everyone to dress like their favorite stars. However, this success masks a dark reality. The peak era of celebrity fast fashion collaborations saw brands like Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing ascend rapidly to the forefront of the industry driven by star-studded endorsements. Naomi Campbell's partnership with Pretty Little Thing in 2023 raised eyebrows across the fashion world due to the model's status as an icon of luxury fashion. Yet, the collaboration was wildly successful. We will delve into this partnership more shortly. Similarly, Kylie Jenner's recent brand, Kai by Kylie Jenner, capitalized on her social media empire and leveraged her family's fame to generate a buzz that even overshadowed accusations of design plagiarism and a lack of transparency in manufacturing practices. These collaborations quickly reached cult status among fans, translating to millions in sales and reinforcing the notion that celebrity endorsement remains a highly lucrative yet problematic strategy. Cardi B's continued association with Fashion Nova demonstrates how celebrities can maintain a brand's relevance despite damning reports about poor wages and exploitative labor practices. Despite the rising criticism, celebrities and the brands they endorse have consistently thrived on their appeal, positioning themselves as the ultimate arbiters of affordable luxury. Fashion Nova, baby. I'll be on a budget until the day I die. But beneath this glamorous facade lies a never-ending nightmare that harms the environment, exploits workers, and threatens emerging designers. The glamorous facade of celebrity collaborations with fast fashion brands has a dark underbelly. Behind the polished marketing campaigns and inclusive slogans lie deeply rooted issues of exploitation, waste, and corporate irresponsibility. Take Boohoo, for instance. In 2020, the Sunday Times exposed that workers producing clothing for the brand were being paid a meager £3.50 per hour. This figure, less than half of the UK's minimum wage, is emblematic of a broader pattern of labor abuse throughout the fast fashion industry. Meanwhile, environmental destruction continues to escalate. The Guardian revealed that fast fashion is a significant contributor to water pollution in countries like Ghana, where discarded clothes fill rivers and landfills, leaching toxic chemicals into the environment. The overproduction of trendy, low-quality garments ensures that these items have short lifespans, rapidly finding their way into the trash after only a few wears. The cycle of waste perpetuates the demand for cheap materials and fuels unethical labor practices, trapping workers in exploitative conditions while leaving a trail of pollution behind. Moreover, the relentless push to capitalize on social issues like inclusivity and diversity often rings hollow. Savage X Fenty, 
Rihanna's lingerie brand, is widely praised for its diversity and size inclusivity, but a 2022 fashion accountability report by Remake revealed that the brand scored only 4 out of 150 possible points in ethical and sustainable standards. These inconsistencies highlight the dissonance between marketing messages and actual practices, revealing how such collaborations can further exacerbate harmful practices. While celebrity endorsements dominate fast fashion, an emerging countertrend of sustainable and ethical practices offers a glimmer of hope. The Orr Foundation's Speak Volumes campaign is a notable example, advocating for transparency around production volumes to hold fast fashion brands accountable for their environmental impact. Brands like Reformation and Everlane which emphasize ethical sourcing and sustainable materials, offer viable alternatives, but face challenges of size, inclusivity, and transparency. Thrifting and secondhand shopping have gained traction among consumers disillusioned with fast fashion's wastefulness. Initiatives like Love Island's partnership with eBay promote the reuse of quality items rather than the relentless consumption of cheap, trendy garments. Celebrities like Zendaya and Bella Hadid have embraced vintage pieces, raising the profile of more sustainable fashion and setting an example that the glamorous need not come at the expense of the planet or people. The willingness of celebrities to overlook unethical practices while leveraging their influence for profit raises questions about their accountability. Naomi Campbell's collaboration with Pretty Little Thing drew criticism from fans and fashion insiders alike questioning how a globally recognized supermodel known for high-end luxury could endorse a brand with a reputation for exploitation and environmental degradation. Despite Campbell's defense of her partnership as a way to promote emerging designers, it's hard to reconcile this narrative with the glaring ethical concerns surrounding the Boohoo Group. Similarly, Kylie Jenner's Kai brand sidestepped manufacturing transparency altogether, offering no information about sourcing practices. These actions reinforce the troubling pattern of celebrities using their influence to sell garments that undermine the very values they claim to support, all while avoiding scrutiny or accountability for the impact of their choices. A few notable figures, such as Emma Watson and Angelina Jolie, have consistently aligned their brands with environmentally friendly and ethical practices. However, the majority of celebrity fashion lines continue to prioritize profitability over sustainability, further illustrating how the celebrity to fashion designer pipeline remains fraught with ethical contradictions. The rise and fall of celebrity fast fashion collaborations present a troubling landscape where fame overshadows responsibility and glamorous endorsements often conceal exploitative practices. As the cycle of overconsumption continues to leave a devastating environmental and social footprint, it's imperative that both brands and consumers rethink their relationship with fashion. Consumers hold significant power to challenge the status quo by supporting sustainable brands, embracing secondhand shopping, and holding celebrities accountable for the brands they endorse. The fashion industry should champion smaller creatives, garment workers, and the environment rather than prioritizing profits through endless trend cycles. If celebrities can use their platforms to amplify this message, a healthier, more sustainable fashion landscape is achievable. The time has come for the fashion industry to wake up from this nightmare. The nightmare can end, but only if we collectively hold brands and celebrities accountable and prioritize the well-being of both people and the planet. Let us know your thoughts on these celebrity brands. We hope you found this video interesting, and if you enjoyed, please subscribe and let us know which fashion brand or topic you would like to see next.